Okay, are we good? Okay. I went to get a few things from the mall. I accidentally walked into Miniso. And I tried, I went to look for something, but they didn't have it. But I mean, that store is just so, everything there is just so satisfying to look at. You just have to buy something. So I got this cool Avengers, focus, Avengers hat, Marvel Avengers hat from Miniso. The point of this video is, I'm sure from the thumbnail or the caption, you must have already guessed what the video is about, is how I shot my first wedding of um, 2020. Fatima and Real One's wedding. It was shot in Lagos at the Intercontinental, the beautiful Intercontinental Hotel. First of all, it was difficult for me to even make this vlog because I didn't really set out to make an actual vlog from this wedding. So the clips you're going to be seeing were even shot from my phone and I only have like clips from the actual prep morning when the bride was getting dressed and a few clips from the wedding wedding reception ball point is you guys are going to be seeing how i got some of these shots how for example how i got the mother and daughter picture that was gotten in the morning and the significance to that picture and also you're going to be seeing how i got one of my favorite pictures from the wedding i'm just going to guide you through on how i got the shots as the video goes on you're also going to see how i shot fatima in the bathroom i mean you don't get to shoot <laughs> you don't get to shoot couples in the bathroom every time so it's just to prove the point that you can get amazing pictures anywhere any place anytime and also you're going to see how i relate with clients you know taking permission to touch them when you have to direct them especially when you're in a hurry and you need to get your point across really fast so you're not always going to be like move your hand and they're like sorry move what and you're like, you have to go there to actually you know place their hand in the right spot so as an upcoming photographer you're supposed to pick this up to help you in your next wedding and yeah that's about it so i apologize first of all for bringing out content late i'm so sorry i'm going to be making videos like this subsequently i hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as i enjoyed making it for you guys and yeah so let's get into this video yeah you have to do that so everything will sync got my hat on the thing is still attached to the back are we good with the sound i hope the sound is good i'll be pissed if it's not Keep seeing a warm feel. Welcome to my channel. This is the first time I'm ever saying it. So, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Get my laptop and this thing to be a little bit closer. Yeah, so, laptop here. So as you can see, this is like one of those hotel rooms where there's just so much space, like you can just do a lot to this place, like there's so much space. That is me though. Mm. So follow her, follow her, follow Bisola. Yeah. Oh. You want Please don't go wear my shoe on my bag. No, it's a vlog. Oh wow. I have a shoe on my bag. Okay. We're waiting. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. No, no, now you, since you're properly, you have to go and do the catwalk. Ready? Yes. Let's go. One time, two time, three time. Okay. All right. Okay. You have to introduce yourself when you get here. All right. Take us to the bride. Take us to the bride. Okay. Let's go to the bride. <laughs> Excuse me, we want to see the bride. Yeah. Sorry, so so what is wrong with you? <laughs> I said I have to do it to you. So she showed me your beautiful face. Oh, such a beautiful bride. Yeah. So you are extra. All That's right. the bride sister behind you. See the bride sister, beautiful. Why is she holding it back? <laughs> She's gonna be your 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 this thing for the day. I know. <laughs> Thank you. The picture of the bride and her mom, Love which is you. one very very important <laughs> picture 
which you need to get on the wedding day especially if the mom is still around and you can see here i was just directing them to um put their hands together and you know just create a picture that <laughs> signifies the bond i would say between the mother and the daughter so and this is me asking them to put their foreheads together I'm sure it was a little bit awkward but i mean the pictures are going to say it's something amazing and making sure the forehead touches which is important having their eyes closed as well Thank you. Thank you. Always be polite. <laughs> okay, so this is just a picture of the mother and her friends with the bride. You know mothers now, they want, once their friends are around, they want pictures. So... Um, yeah, so now at this point, you're going to see a lot of people... It was time to take portraits of the bride, but you can see a lot of people were, you know, in our space. And this is very important as a wedding photographer. You should be able to stand your ground and control every situation because it boils down to you getting the shots you want to get. So you have to make sure nobody is in your space. Control that space. Just have an authority, especially when they trust you to when they trust you well enough to take those pictures. You have to stand. Don't be the shy type where you're like, oh, sorry, I don't want to offend anybody. I mean, you, be polite about it. Just be like, can I have everyone? Especially if you're going to be talking to the planner. In this case, where the planner had an assistant who was with the bride. So I could relate with the planner and not even maybe the friends. So I could tell the planner, like, please help me tell them to, you know, move. Because I need to focus on the bride. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You see here now is where I was saying earlier about touching clients. You know, sometimes you have to, you know, sometimes you have to, it's not enough to just direct them from afar to say, okay, maybe look left or look right. Sometimes you don't have enough time. So you have to, you know, speed things up. And this will require you to, you know, go closer to them and just be like, you know what, I'm, I want your hand here, not here. But before you do that, what I tend to do is I tend to, ask first and most of the time they're like yeah yeah sure go ahead because they want you to do what you want to you know what you want to get so okay. so at this point yeah take that bag out you can see hey my baby hey anytime where you want to go you can see the bride is in a good mood playing music during prep time like prep time is you know in the morning where she's doing having her makeup done i feel like you should have one of these mini speakers i had one i lost it i don't know who took it but i don't think it was mine playing here i think it was like someone's i think it was a speaker in the hotel i don't know point is had playing music in the morning when you're about to take pictures of the bride would help you know ease her into the mood you'd want her to be in i know someone was asking me about how you get your clients your moody client she fatima is a sweetheart she wasn't moody she wasn't being you know stop, um, uptight or anything but this is one way you can get maybe a client who is not you know comfortable with taking pictures just maybe play music and you can even ask them you know what is their favorite song or if they have a playlist you can just play it just put them in the mood at this point she was playing joe boy baby which is one dope song and yeah she was happy which is important and yes this is getting the magic shot this is how i got one of my or if not my favorite picture from the wedding um i don't i didn't plan this picture like I saw her in this dress. By the way, I haven't even mentioned she was wearing Diola Sego, which is I adore, adore, adore Diola Sego. Like this is one designer who inspires me as a photographer. She was wearing Diola Sego. She looked amazing. 
and apparently the color of her you know what do they call this ashwabi the color of her outfit matched um it was matching the um curtains in the hotel in the hotel room so it made like a nice contrast so that was just it was there for the taking i just saw it so no bragging or anything so yeah most of the time you do not plan these pictures they just when you walk into a room most of the things there are just you know already there for the taking you just have to be able to see it to detect it yeah moving on at this point from here you can see i was shooting i even had a strobe trigger on my camera but i was shooting with continuous light i think i would i will link i'm about to do what youtubers do i'm going to link the description of the light down below okay let's go on so i was shooting with continuous light i wasn't using strobe at this point because like i said the room the ambience was just amazing i didn't need strobes i didn't need that extra power of light i just i was okay with what i was getting so just adding my continuous light is the right amount of light i will need to you know take my portraits i love continuous light let's not go into it now this is this is the part i would talk about the most this is when i asked the bride to you know go into the bathroom for us to take pictures as weird as it sounds no one is going to no bride or groom is going to complain when they know that when they trust you well enough that you asking them to go into the bathroom to take pictures they trust that you would give them something amazing from there so they're not like ah bathroom why am i going to the bathroom to take pictures no so now i asked fatima right if we can go into the bathroom and i'm going to talk about the bathroom because you can't let me not lie you can't actually shoot in and not every bathroom is as nice as this one so this hotel like i said like i was hyping it before is so nice and it had one of these nice bathrooms and you can't shoot in my own bathroom it's not like it's i'm just saying and in the bathroom you can see at the mirror it has this you know something like a candle light at both sides it's not candle light but it gives the illusion of like a candle dim light which is even reflecting making it look like there are more lights i mean you, you you see what i'm talking about and you know it's just a really 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 nice bathroom which would give you amazing pictures you can see on the side there's a huge window by the bathtub where this sweet sweet natural light was coming in from so why would you shoot in the bathroom I think you should take that same shot from the back top angle yeah. yeah so this one is where george my assistant george was shooting with me you know suggested that i move my position where i was taking this picture to just move and get the shot from like the bathtub angle and i'm going to talk about this because as a photographer a wedding photographer you're going to go on wedding events with an assistant you have to make sure you have like the right people that you know can just give you good advice and it would yield good results because this one shot i got i'm going to show the shot now this one shot i wasn't getting this angle of her face from where i was standing before until george told me to move so always make sure you have a george with you shout out to george right, so one time okay so this is me just taking pictures one, of her two, and go. And now the drum roll. The groom walks in. Oh, I knew my phone was going to ring. I should have put it on silent. Sorry. And now the groom walks in. Looking dapper. So good. You can see at this point, I kept taking on pictures. I kept taking pictures rather and 
I wasn't trying to, you know, they were having a moment as you can see. So at this point, you just keep clicking that shutter. Don't stop them in any way. Don't let them just have this moment and just be clicking and taking your pictures. Just keep directing. Directing. Tell her what you want to do. Yeah. So let's go forward. And you can see now, I asked the groom, can we take a picture of you and the bride in the bathroom because it's such an amazing bathroom. So he agreed. I mean, you can see at this point, he was just admiring her, looking at her. Couldn't get his eyes off her. <laughs> Boys in love. And this is just me. As you can see, I've switched to. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even giving you guys info about the lens choice. Now I'm using the telephoto because I'm trying to get that tight shot of the bride and her, like a few of our bridesmaids. Okay, so now, fast forward, we are at the reception. And this is a Yoruba wedding, so you know how the Owan bear can be hot. So now, as you can see, I am shooting with the, my Tamron um, 15, I think it's 15 to 35 mm. I'll link the description below. I'm using this lens because it's wide enough where I can get the bride and her, you know, bridesmaids in one picture. Music helps pictures. So here, I think this is one tradition that happens at the Yoruba wedding where the bride has to wear the groom uh, his, his cap. And he's carrying her now. You can see how I'm rushing to get these pictures because things are moving. You have to be moving with, with whatever is going on. You don't want to miss a moment. Obviously, you're not going to capture everything at every wedding. Like, you're going to probably miss some things, but try as much as you can to, you know, hustle and get those pictures. Like, you don't want to miss a picture where the groom was carrying the bride. It's not every time you're carrying your bride. Let's not even kid ourselves. So, I don't know for my wedding if I'm going to carry my, my babe. I have to. <laughs> So now he has to carry her to her parents. I think his parents. He has to carry her to his parents to, you know, introduce them to his wife, to bring her to them. And just, you know, this is my wife, whom I am well pleased, mom. Yeah, so and that's that. And now pause pause i'm going to talk about fatima's second dress because i'm not a fashion designer but i appreciate a good beautiful dress trust me. i know a lot about dresses and i can tell you for sure that this was one amazing dress because i mean look at it just look at this dress like who wears black on their wedding day <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's something I was going to, like. How did you just choose to wear black on your wedding day and just you know eat it up like you ate this look? And fun fact: the sleeve on the on the on the dress goes off. So at the after party, she wore she took the sleeves out. So genius, Fatima, genius, genius. And now you can see me trying to direct them, you know, without saying anything and uh, let me show you i will explain what i did i was like you 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 look at me follow my hand your face no your face follow my hand follow my hand stop i mean who wouldn't understand that <laughs> yeah so i think that's about it with this video and oh, time to talk to the camera as an upcoming photographer if you've watched this video you must have taken one or two things this is how i would like to be teaching where i'll explain how i shot how i got some of the shots so you can see in detail but i mean i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you've gotten something out of it i hope you can see that the mother daughter picture is very important if her dad was our, if her dad was at the hotel or if if her dad was there and she requested a picture of her and her dad that's one important picture you have to take these are like the shots the essential shots that you have to take at every wedding so that's one and that was why that shot was quite and that was why that shot was super super important the other one i'm going to talk about is the shot in the bathroom i'm sure i've said something about it but i'm just going to hit the nail on the head and tell you that you have to be deliberate about any picture you want to get on the wedding day i think you have to learn to be confident Trust me, if the couple, if the, the, I mean, they hired you to come and shoot their wedding. So, I mean, they trust you well enough to some extent. So, they're going to let you do what you want to do. All right? So, be deliberate about the shots you want to get. Make sure you speak out. Don't be like, oh, I don't want to offend them. I don't want to. Just suggest. The highest they can say is no. No is not going to kill you. And nobody's going to say no to amazing pictures. Trust me. So... Yeah, I hope you've gotten something from this video and I'm going to be dropping videos like this subsequently. So like, subscribe, turn on the notification so you know when I post a video. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. And I am so sorry it took three weeks to get a video out because I'm kind of lazy. I had to get a recorder. So I could use the mic and I got the recorder from Camera Joints. You guys should check them out. I am going to link them down below or you can just check their Instagram page. So I just wanted to make sure I had good audio. I think I think I'll say that was my excuse. I promise to be putting out videos. I promise to put in our content. And I think the next video that I'm going to put out is a Q&A. So I'm going to need you guys, if you want to know anything, anything about me, anything about photography or my work, you can leave your questions in the comment section and I'm going to respond to them in the next video. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I really, really, really appreciate you guys watching this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.